Hi, this is Jimmy J. I remember 9-11 very well and uh, kind of brings tears to my eyes because uh, Ronnie and I were up in New York at this time. Our wonderful and dear friend Mary Sabatelli invited us to New York. Mary always enjoyed the way I played piano and sang and entertained. So we were we were invited to go up there. So all expenses paid, we flew up to New York and uh, had such a great time. And I remember, <coughs> excuse me, I remember the Monday, uh, we the Monday 9/11 night would have been September 10th, the Monday before 9/11. Uh, 9-11. It was Monday night. Mary took us down to the village, down to uh, Greenwich Village. She had a friend down there that had a restaurant. She was going to take us up to the Twin Towers, the restaurant up in the Twin Towers, but she decided, well, uh, let's just go down there. And I had a little portable keyboard with battery-operated keyboard with me. And I can remember having so much fun down there. We, uh, They had outside restaurants, two or three restaurants in a row outside. I sat down outside, turned the little keyboard on, was playing, and uh, it was quite a memorable night. Uh, and Mary had me up there playing at different places on Port Jefferson. I played uh, a couple of restaurants there, just sitting in, and it was so much fun. She was a wonderful and wonderful friend and a true person. I just found out recently that she had passed away. Uh, we lost contact with Mary. Uh, because, you know, I, I had open heart surgery and I was going through some medical problems myself with the cancer and all this. So we found out that Mary had passed away and uh, and it's ironic that uh, I just f found that out and here's 9-11 now. And, uh, but all in all, we had, it, the, the, I can remember, I can remember uh, Tuesday morning we were supposed to fly out. That would have been 9-11. <coughs> Excuse me. Mary had us uh, in a, in a, staying in a hotel in Port Jefferson, right on the uh, new, uh, Long Island Sound. And uh, so Ronnie was in, uh, Ronnie was always afraid of flying. She just, you know, definitely was afraid of flying. So Ronnie, Ronnie was into, uh, into the bathroom and, and she was packing, getting things ready, packing her, uh, you know, her bathroom articles and the and I was sitting there, and I, I turned on the television, I said, geez, I said, a plane just uh, hit one of the Twin Towers. It was a, you know, something hit the Twin Towers. I went to and he said it was a plane, you know, and we are still talking about it. And I was sitting there, and at about nine, two, nine, two minutes after nine, or three minutes after nine, I'm not really sure, the second plane hits. And I'm watching it live. And I said, Ronnie, you're not going to believe this. I said, of course, she's afraid of flying now. Now she... She doesn't want to get back on an airplane. So anyway, um, I said, wow. So after all this happened, all the airports were, of course, have closed. And we were going to uh, fly out of this little airport on Long Island Sound. I, I can't, can't remember the name of it. I have to think. Uh, but anyway, uh, so this, this whole incident, we wound up staying at Mary's house. And we were like 50 miles away, and, and it would rain that night. Again, I know we all, and it was so hot. We opened the windows, and you could still smell the smoke coming in through the windows. And and so the the next, uh, it took about a week or so before we could actually. We were there another at least another week before they opened up the airports that, that we could fly out and get back to Florida. But it, it was. Uh, it was a very somber, somber time up there after after 9-11. Nobody really was smiling, and I wasn't smiling, you know, because uh, the New York people were so kind to Ronnie, and I, we always had a good time in New York. It, the times we were there, and at the time we were up there, we were still able to go to the old the house that Ruth built, the old Yankee Stadium. That was my first time there. Mary bought me a, a jacket right from the stadium. I have a New York uh, Yankees jacket, and uh, I get a lot of I get a lot of kids out about that because I'll wear a Tampa Bay hat with a New York Yankee jacket when it gets cold. But anyway, that's my remembrance of 9/11, uh, and I wanted to share that with my friends. 
I know uh, our kids were worried about us. Uh, they were calling to see, you know, uh, my son was calling to see if we were okay, and uh, Stephanie called to see if we were okay, and all the kids were concerned about us, Laura, at that time. But uh, that's one one thing in my history, my memory, that uh, I wish I didn't have that kind of a memory to remember. I wish that would never happen. Many of the brave firefighters in the uh, New York Police Department, many of them were, were there um, to uh, put out the fire and to save people. And a lot of those boys, uh, they, men, they didn't get to go home. And the people that were in the towers. So it's not a great memory that I have. But it's a memory. And uh, I thought I would just share that with you. God bless the United States of America. And God bless our people. And God bless you, my friends and my fans. And even if you're not a friend or fan, God bless you. God is always there. And uh, God is always there at times like this. And uh, at times, at that time, he was with us. So this is Jimmy J saying... Have a great day.